Let me ask you a question. Have you ever made sound mods for Left 4 Dead 2? If the answer to this question was a yes, allow me to ask you a second question. Have you ever noticed how annoying it is to be bound by the restrictions that the game gives you? You have to make sound mods that have the same length, hertz and mono and stereo settings depending on what the original is. Sometimes that is no big deal. Other times it's borderline impossible to make a good sound because of it. A good example is the silenced SMG. The firing sound for this gun is this short. It is borderline impossible to make a good mod for it because how the hell are you supposed to find a sound that is this short? Well, you know, you can make sound mods that are longer but you have to manually install all of them, which means you are going to abandon the idea of downloading a mod from the workshop and having that be it. You have to download it, unpack it, manually install it and make a sound cache. So if that's what it takes to make a sound that is longer, I had the idea, why the hell don't I just unlock the full potential of all the sound mods ever? Because if you don't have any restrictions, you can go absolutely bonkers. As an example, not only can you make sounds longer, but you can add more sounds to the game. Imagine a jukebox sound mod that has 20 songs on the jukebox instead of the original 7. Imagine a gun sound mod that works just like in Left 4 Dead 1. Remember in Left 4 Dead 1? When you are close to the gun, it sounds like this. But when you're far away, it sounds like this. Believe it or not, but this big difference in sound is one single sound file and one goddamn character in the sound script of the weapon. Really? So if you wanted to add more sounds to a gun, or that it should now sound like in Left 4 Dead 1, you would have to modify the script that holds all the guns in it. Now that's annoying, because you wouldn't want to download a mod, be told to open a script, find like line 500 and modify it. So I decided to make this sound script manifest base. What it does is it adds more sound scripts to the game. Now people can make mods where they just slap in the longer sounds or different sounds and also slap in the sound script for just that one gun or sound scripts for just the tank music. Unfortunately though this doesn't work for the main menu music because those 5 songs are hard coded into the game and we can't change that. Sorry about that. If you like the idea of not having any limits when it comes to sound modding, then this is perfect for you. I will first now show you how to install the base and then how to install mods that work on this base. First, you have to go to where your Left 4 Dead 2 is installed. Open the Left 4 Dead 2 folder and modify the game info. Scroll down to where you can see Game, Update, Game, DLC 3 and so on. Above it, make a new line that reads Game, Custom Sounds, Slash, Sound Scripts, Base. Save the game info and make a shortcut of the game info. Now cut out this shortcut so that we can paste it into the proper folder later. Go back out to where the EXE and the DLC folders are. Make a folder that is called Custom Sounds. Open this new folder and paste the shortcut of this game info into that folder. Now go to the workshop page of the Sound Script Manifest Base. You can click the subscribe button, but it wouldn't do anything except for telling you when an update comes out because when you subscribe and an update comes out, the next time you play the game, you can see that an update is being downloaded. So I would recommend you to download the mod using Crowbar. 
download the mod into the custom sounds folder. Once the mod is downloaded into the custom sounds folder, you have to unpack the VPK using crowbar. Drag and drop the VPK onto crowbar, the unpack tab will open and simply press unpack. You will get a folder that is probably called unpacked 0.72 or whatever. This name has to be changed to sound script space, just like it listed in the game info. The sound scripts base folder contains all the base scripts for the new sound scripts, as well as a pack 01 dear VPK that has the new and modified sound script manifest. And now the base is installed. Pretty simple. And now, how to install mods that use this base? It's pretty much the same idea. Go to the workshop page of a mod that uses this base. Download it with crowbar into the same folder. Unpack this VPK with crowbar and you get another folder called unpacked 0. Point whatever. Change the name of this folder to what the mod was called. Copy the name of this folder and open the game info shortcut. Now just go back to where the sound scripts baseline was and above the sound scripts baseline make a new line that reads game custom sounds slash and then the name of the folder that you just set. Now that that is done, the sounds are installed but you don't have the cache yet. Some models might be nice enough to make a sound cache for you, others don't. To make the sound cache, open the game, open the console and enter SND underscore build sound cache for directory, followed by full stop, full stop, slash, exclamation mark, custom underscore sounds, slash, and then the name of the folder that you gave to the mod that you just installed. Then hit enter. You will be booted into a loading screen and depending on how many sounds you have in this, it can take 1 second, 10 seconds or minutes. Once it says how many sound files have been touched, you are done. You can now close the game. The sound mod is now installed. Now if you want to know how to uninstall it, pretty easy. Just delete the folder. Or you can disable it by renaming the folder because the game info is loading web 50 cal and not web 50 cal disabled. The nice thing is if you make multiple folders for every single sound mod, you can basically disable sounds by just renaming the folder. If you were to merge all sounds into one folder, you're gonna have a bad time when it comes to uninstalling those sound mods, believe me. So anyways, that's all there is to this sound script manifest. With this we can truly unlock the full potential of sound modding. Of course it is a bit of a pain to manually install and uninstall sounds, but considering that the other option is to not have nice sounds, to be forced to use short sounds, to be forced to have a jukebox with just 6 songs, that is pretty stupid. So if we unlock the potential to get all of what we want, it'll be pretty fucking cool, don't you think? And now this is the part where we part ways. If you want, you can join my Discord server, ask me questions, just hang around. Take care. See you next time.